Hello and welcome. This is Deepak Mishra and you are watching Deminus International. Today we have Dr. Sunil Aliyar with us. Hello. He has recently completed his Fak Arts in Germany. Fak Arts in uh, Gastrointestinal Surgery, Visceral Chirurgy. And we will today interview him and get to know him a little better. We'll uh, try to find out what his path was and how has he done what he has done so far. <coughs> So, Dr. Sunil, please, I have given a short intro about you. Can you please introduce yourself again? Hello, everyone. My name is Sunil Aryal. I am originally from Nepal. I have been to Germany since 2006. Oh, it has been almost 15 years. And I came to Berlin in 2006, did my language course, did my medical preparation course, and started my medical course in Munich in 2007, completed it in 2014. Since then, I worked as a resident in general surgery and later over in gastrointestinal surgery. In November 2020, I completed my residency in gastrointestinal surgery and working right now as a consultant in a hospital in Germany. Wonderful. Congratulations from the entire team of Deminets and from our audience, audiences as well. Thank you very uh, much. Because Fark Arts is the zeal, the aim uh, for which all foreign uh, doctors come to Germany. I mean, I will hopefully take my Fark Arts in a couple of years, <laughs> I, I hope. Uh, yeah, I would like to ask Dr. Sunil that after medical curriculum, after medical education, what you say in India, we have MBBS here, they call it medicine studio. What is the way to Fakats Weiter Building? How is the entry in Fakats Weiter Building here in Germany? Okay. Actually, if you compare that to India, it's very simple because in as far as I know, as I'm from Nepal and I'm slightly informed about the Indian med medical education system, you need to take an entrance exam, you need to come to the top list and you will be able to get a seat for the residency. But in Germany, as soon as you pass out in Germany, you will get automatically your um, license, medical license. And the very day of the beginning to work, it's counted on your residency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depending on your subject and depending uh, either you work part time or full time, residency in Germany may take five years or six years. And yeah. that means after completing a medical course here in Germany, you just need to select a hospital and department where you want to work and in which department you want to do your residency and just apply it. Okay. So just send your uh, CV and CV. all the documents that you have to exactly. that as, a, as a job application. Yeah, exactly. There is, there is no, nothing more than that. There is no centralized selection system that we have in different, like in India example, or, or in the US you have this ERAS and MATCH and everything. In Germany, we don't have those systems. Here, as Dr. Sunil has mentioned that you choose what, what branch you want to work in and then you find the hospitals where you'd like to work in and then you send your applications over there, right? Yeah. And then if they like you, they'll call you for interview and if you both like each other, then they'll work mm -hmm. over there. And the small point is in Nepal and I guess in India too, surgery is so complicated to get through. Mm -hmm. But in Germany, because surgery is going to be the one of the hardest profession, mm -hmm. so very less people want to do residence in surgery. That means... Getting a residency in surgery is, is relatively yes. yeah. easier than in compared to ophthalmology or even pathology and dermatology. Yeah, surgery, inner medicine, anesthesia, uh, these are the branches which are very high, like we need to work very hard for these branches. That is why uh, native people don't prefer, I mean, they prefer that, people who are passionate about it. But then when you just say about uh, work-life balance and the money that exactly. you earn, yeah. then uh, branches like dermatology, ophthalmology, radiology, they are obviously better choices. And then those people, those choices are filled first and then inner medicine, surgery, anesthesia are there. One of my best friends, he started also in general surgery, mm -hmm. worked for two years and okay. it's, so, it's so tough. And <laughs> later on, he turns to the urology. <laughs> and the good thing is he can he can count his two years of experience in yes. general surgery in the residence of urology. Yes, that is what I wanted to exactly. talk to you about. Mm -hmm. That how is the structure of vital building? The duration you said, five years, exactly. six years. Mm -hmm. So what is the structure? Why could your friend get it counted? Okay, if we go in details, so the... Um, uh, residency in gastrointestinal surgery, it's divided in two parts. For the basic surgery, just for two years. 
in within these two years you need to work in any surgical ward for one year six months in the opd and six months in the intensive medicine hmm. and after going through these two years you will come to the specific part of the gastrointestinal surgery here you have got a catalog mm -hmm. i guess you need to do around 400 operations mm -hmm. and and from, from these operations it's listed like we have i need to do 25 cholecystectomy 25 appendectomy and many other listers i don't want to go through in details yeah. that will move to the further question where we will ask him that how does he describe his Fakat's vitre building? Like what, how was it? How did he, what rotations did he do? What, what, what is the work, daily work like as an assistant arts? Yeah. During my residency of six years, I came up through three different hospitals. Mm -hmm. Okay. With, um, to be honest, the first hospital was the university level hospital. I was very excited that now I'm going to the best doctor. Mm -hmm. So um, I started on the one of the very renowned hospital and working through that as we later informed the work-life balance was so miserable okay uh, i worked there till eight o'clock at the evening uh -huh. and i was just paid till four okay and um, as the good thing in germany is you are not bonded to do your whole residency in one hospital yes. and i came up with having different communications with other different friends mm -hmm. And they told me that's very like, difficult to do the research over there mm -hmm. because my work life balance is not good and I was not able to do good operations. So I changed my mind and I went to the um, uh, trauma surgery for one year because I was sure that trauma surgery would be counted mm -hmm. in visceral mm -hmm. surgery even. So I did one year in trauma surgery mm -hmm. because of my private thing because I didn't want to um, change the city. Um, Hmm. At that okay. time, okay. after doing one year in trauma surgery, I came to this hospital where I'm working currently, mm -hmm. and I worked there for four hour, four years. Okay, and I went to the um, intensive medicine for six months over there, and then I had rotation for the OPD two, and on the ward and in hospitals, and I was lucky enough to have all the. Um, necessary operations or surgical procedure to do within the short time of short period of time mm -hmm. and then after having your catalog there's a logbook where is everything noted and you have need the minimum requirement of time and mid operations they are necessary then you need to put a form on the extra comma it's the doctors association they are um, actually looking for the quality of the doctors mm -hmm. and they are they, those who take your examination or they organize for that things okay. and then within six more weeks I got the um, appointment for my okay. exam and I took it and luckily <laughs> so congratulations was again for this Thank exam so uh, tell me uh, on the day of your approval of, of on your FACAT's exam yeah. in short like how was the situation like what kind of questions did they ask you? Was that very difficult or uh, it's a practical oral exam? Exactly. Right? I was well prepared you know, because in Germany you have, you get preparation on a daily life and the things what they ask is it's not theoretical exam. Like I know more in Nepal and India, I guess, they are very focused on the theoretical things. Yeah, But in Germany, they work the things like very clearly. The presentation is the one of the most important things over here. Mm -hmm. yeah? That means if the same knowledge, if you present it in a better way, mm -hmm. yeah, it makes a very good impression. I think it's more more or less all over the world the same things, mm -hmm. but they focus over presentation much more than I know it in Nepal or in India even, I guess. Mm -hmm. And they just ask me the simple things of patients come with some of the problems in your OPD or in the emergency. Mm -hmm. And how would you go with that? Okay. So they start with the very basic things and they, 
I keep mentioning them and I said in this case I would do this, I would do that, I would do the that. The cases were similar what you have seen for six years now. Exactly, that was the, if it, it's the, the way that was the simple cases, one was hemorrhoid, one was rectum carcinoma, uh-huh. and one was the um, um, gallbladder. Okay, so these cases you see every day in your exactly. hospital yeah. and you ex- just explain that, okay, in this case I would do this, 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 and that, in this case I would do this, yeah. this, this, okay. They just want to know either you are organized enough and you can do the things by your own, your own. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. So this this way we also got a glimpse of the Fak Arts exam, how it is in Algaman Shirurgi, Visceral Shirurgi. So um, here uh, we, were, we are not going to make this a long video, we are going to cut it short now. I want to ask Dr. Aryal now that what does he thinks are the think uh, are the pros that is the benefits of working as a doctor in Germany and what are the negatives what are the cons of that what are the benefits do you think as there are lots of benefits I was to start with the deficits um, or struggling things doing residency in Germany for the very first thing is the language barrier okay and second it takes a little long than you think because the preparation time is a bit longer. I think you have learned that from the videos from Deepak mm-hmm. Mishra from the Remnitz International and he explained it in a very professional and very clearly. And although it will be slightly change of social things because we in Nepal and India, we have got different culture, different social way of contact with people. And we come to Germany, it's little different mm-hmm. and the number of patients we see its day is very limited here in the world and the round when we go we hardly visit 15 patients in a round mm-hmm. i guess in nepal and india the number is 15 different, <laughs> definitely much more <laughs> you know? and um, i think not more than that yeah? okay. and the benefits are yeah so you have got a very good lifestyle yeah, as I mentioned you already, you can choose it in a way. You can also do it in a part time if you got parents or if you got child. Even as a male person, I can stay one year at home and get full salary. I think 80%. No, because the full, it doesn't count the full salary because the salary of a doctor is very high. That's why they can't. Yes, they can consider the yeah, 60%, 60% of your salary, salary or maximum 1800. Yeah. So that means uh, when you are, in El- they call it Elton side. That means you I know this because of my uh, daughter. We are like my wife was uh, till last month, till this month. At pre- I mean, till, till December, she was in Elton side. Mm-hmm. And from uh, January, she'll start working again. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I know that with experience that you get uh, like 1800 euro. Mm-hmm monthly uh, so that is the maximum that you get mm-hmm. over there so and that yes that and and plus the job that you work i mean as a elder, as a uh, parent mm-hmm. your job is not gone like if yeah, you exactly. become pregnant no. if you have a child mm-hmm. it's not like somebody will remove you now your job is secure mm-hmm. you can after the child after you have completed this elton site you can very well go to that same hospital again mm-hmm. your job is waiting for you yeah. that is the social system it's that the I, best social system in the in the world and because the um, employers, they won't be the, the, the uh, oh, I think they, mm. um, they can't quit your job for mm. any other reason. The other point is you can choose your residency in part time and lifestyle is very high. You are very highly paid. That means you will be in the one of the, um, the higher level in the yes. social economic status. You cannot yeah. compare this with U.S. salaries. Exactly. Yeah. American salaries are different and they're totally world apart. But then, uh, do, is it? I mean, do you get well paid to live a good standard of life here in Germany? Definitely, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. You you do that uh, as resident, maybe a little less. But once you become fuck arts, maybe over arts. Uh, okay. If you have your own practice, uh, own uh, client, uh, private practice, then definitely you are in the top, uh, like top uh, exactly. people who and, earn. And for the long term process. As um, doctors are very respected, respected yes. here, yes. and they are it's very huge demand of doctors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, for the another way, uh, myself, I took um, German residency few years back, mm-hmm. and it's not a headache. It's just a formality because of your good job and good salary. The um, offices here they offer you. That means it's not that you should go behind them and wait for 
the residency mm. just you get an automatic offer and just you need to fill the formality give some of other documents and you'll get the residence in the very short period of time. Yes. Citizenship. In yes. Very yes. And, time. and yes, here citizenship you get after like six, seven years of living and working in Germany. Mm -hmm. But another important part is which is uh, different than in US, for example, here is that the resident permit, that is the blue card, yeah. that you get right at the beginning. Like when you begin your job, uh, <laughs> that time also once you have a like Arbeit Fatrag, Arbeit Fatrag, then you get a residence permit. That means you can stay here permanently. Mm -hmm. And the, the plus point about the blue card is it's not just simply a residency because blue cards refers you, that means you are belong to one of the higher class. I, I don't mean to say the higher class, but it means um, only if certain people get the blue card as a foreigner, uh, it refers indirectly um, the amount of salary you get. Yes. The qualification exactly. and the salary, yeah. the, those mm -hmm. two things are there. I mean, uh, we, I mean, Dominance International is now uh also working towards nurses like so far we have focused ourselves on on doctors who want to uh, work in germany uh, but now in 2021 we are going to expand our services and we are going to uh, also consider nursing professionals problem there is that uh, they do not get directly blue card mm -hmm. because the salary scale that they have is not as that of doctors so doctors take directly blue card nursing professionals will have to wait some time and fulfill other criteria to get blue cards. That is one uh, point. But then that is the least uh, point. I mean, that is not. I think it's not much that important. Yeah, that yeah. is not that important. Mm -hmm. None of the candidates have asked me so far that okay, how how when when will I get blue card? Yeah. Because you get to work once you have a job, you have a visa, so you and can it's stay. It's possible to get the um, citizenship without a blue card too. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so that was uh, else. Yeah. One important thing at the end, you have been here since so many years now, Dr. Arial. What I would like to know is that what is your suggestion? Like, for example, my viewers of this channel most of the time are uh, young medical professionals uh, in India most of the times. Also in other uh, countries, we have uh, viewership all over the world. So uh, what would you suggest to a young person who has just finished his MBBS and is looking for post-graduation abroad? Or maybe post graduation in Germany. What are your like? Say, what would be few suggestions that you would give? If you um, put all the things on the table and um, watch it clearly, I guess um, even at the very beginning, doing PG in different language, Germany had a little demerits. But in a long term, um, it's very um, fruitful, and you have got lots of advantage in compared to other countries like USA. Australia, England, or even in India. So my suggestion for you, all you fellows, is that you can, with no any risks, think and plan for your residency in Germany. Yeah, there are lots of other ways. And to do that, you can do it your own by your own way. What Deepak Misra also suggests to you, or you can take fully his help. Or you can take his informations mm. and do it. And in this work case, as Deepak Mishra is doing since a long time, he's professionally, I could suggest you guys yeah, to be in touch with him, take his suggestions, watch his videos, yeah, and let him help you guys. It's the easiest and the shortest way to come to Germany and start your residency. Thank you. Thank you, Sunil, very much for the recommendation. I'm sure uh, the viewers will take his word, not mine. <laughs> and yeah, and uh, I suggest, I request you guys to uh, like this video, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you are watching from Nepal, you have a fellow Nepali uh, who has done it. So you can follow his, he can be an inspiration to, to many of you. And uh, for our other viewers, uh, please write uh, your thoughts on this video your comments. Uh, I, I'll read those comments and as and when I find time, I also try to reply them uh, in my most, uh, what you say, most humble way uh, that I can. Uh, yeah, so please do that and uh, yeah, see you next time. Thank you very much. And a very happy new year. Yeah, happy new year <laughs> that we forgot. Yeah.